Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Photoshop, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you how to crop an image into a circle within Adobe Photoshop. A really easy step-by-step -step process for you to follow, but something that will be very important and integral for your designs, placing imagery with inside of a circle or other multiple shapes as well is um, something that you'll come across. So what we've got to do is just follow the simple steps that I show you today, and you'll be able to create some really cool, interesting stuff. First of all, what I'd like to do is show you how to use the frame tool to place an image inside. So if we come here, this is our frame tool. And if you click on it, you've got the options here of having a rectangular frame or an elliptical frame. Obviously we're creating an ellipse. So I'm gonna come through and create an elliptical frame. Press shift to keep it nice and proportionate like so. And there's our frame. As you can see, we have two parts of the layer here. We have the frame part and the image part. Obviously that's white at the moment because we've not placed an image inside. It's very easy. All you need to do is go to File, Place Embedded, choose your image, and press Place. Perfect. And the benefit of this, guys, due to the fact that we have these two elements, uh, two sections to the layer, is you can manipulate either the frame or the image. So if I click on the frame, uh, the image part of that layer, Command T for Mac users or Control T for Window users, and I can resize the image with inside of that particular frame there. And yes, obviously, if you click on the frame part of that layer, yeah, again, use that keyboard shortcut, Command T or Control T, you can resize the frame like so if you need to. And then just to save it, guys, what you need to do is if you right click on that layer, you have the option here of quick export as PNG. Save it within your files and you'll see that you have a image within a circle. Now, guys, what you may also want to do is use sort of other types of frames. So what we could do is we could use uh, the shapes tools um, to create our frame and place an image inside. So what I'm now going to do is go right click. Let's say we use a polygon like so. So we have a uh, polygon here. I may just increase the sides. As you can see, the properties window is just uh, popped open for me here. And here's the side option. I'm going to go for a six sided shape. And what I'm gonna do as well, just round off the corners like so, and give it a little bit of a rotation while pressing shift, just to keep it nice and straight there. And I'm just gonna remove the fill, uh, sorry, the stroke also as well. Okay, so guys, at the moment, this is just a normal uh, shape, okay? But I would like to convert this into a frame. Very, very easy. You go to the layer of the shape, right click on it. You have the option here to convert it to a frame. Like so, always wise to name your elements. I'm just going to call this frame one. And press OK. And there's our frame. And yet again, how do we place an image inside of it? File, place embedded, choose your image, place. And yet again, you have the option of either resizing the image with inside the frame or resizing the frame also as well. And yet again, if you want to save this, just right click on that layer, quick export as PNG and save within your files. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.